So Senator Elizabeth Warren was on The View yesterday. She was asked about why she hasn't endorsed Bernie Sanders or uh, Joe Biden in the midst of this crisis. And this is what she had to say. Let's take a listen. Uh, we just learned that Tulsi Gabbard has suspended her campaign and has endorsed uh, Joe Biden. And, and at this point, you are the only prominent candidate who has dropped out that hasn't endorsed either Bernie Sanders or Joe Biden. Why haven't you announced an endorsement yet? So actually, I've been focused on this crisis. You know, I think mm -hmm. Bernie needs space to decide what he wants to do next, and he should be given the space to do that. I just, I, I want to say that one of the feelings that is, that a lot of people have is that they're uncomfortable because it feels like you don't have faith in either one of the candidates. And I think one of the things that you might think about when you decide to endorse somebody is it might help people just calm down a little bit about the elections that are coming to face everything else because biden has an overwhelming lead uh and it just feels like maybe you're not as confident in either candidate can you dispel that for people so, you know, that's a very good point, and I hadn't thought about it that way, Whoopi, and I'm glad you raised it. This is not a question about not being confident in leadership. And look, my position on this has been clear. I think all of us who ran for president, frankly, would make a much better president than Donald mm -hmm. Trump. There it is, Crystal. She won't endorse Bernie. She won't endorse Biden. She's focused on the crisis. She's taking her time. What do you think? Profile and courage right there. I mean, she's just so disingenuous. Like, yeah. I would prefer, look, honestly, I liked better Tulsi Gabbard saying, yeah, you know what, the Joe. primary's more or less over. I'm backing Joe Biden because I always said I'd back the Democratic nominee, and now I'm going to focus. Like, I would almost rather she do that than play this whole, like, oh, I'm really focused on the crisis. You, where were you when, you know, Super Tuesday was unfolding and you were <laughs> hanging in the race despite all odds when you could have backed Bernie and it could have given progressives a chance of winning? Where were you the following week before this all, you know, like it was unfolding in the background, but it wasn't the national emergency crisis that it is now when you needed your time and space to be able to think it over, et cetera, et cetera. I wish she'd just come out and say, you know what? Closer to Bernie on the issues, but I don't think he can win. That's what I'm taking so long. I'm ultimately going to get behind whoever the nominee is. Like, just be straight with people. Yeah. Don't give us all this, oh, I'm just focused on the crisis, please. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's just classic Warren, right? She, classic Warren. She is playing the game. Even You know, this is the other mystifying thing I found on this crisis. Don't you think that the woman who, you know, what made her career on CFPB, corporate behavior and all that, should be have more of a leading role in the response to this crisis? Like, look, I'm not, we should give her some credit, the stock buyback thing. I think you were happy with the worker on the board, proposals yeah. and all. But like, she's not out there every single day using her movement and all of that in order to try and drive what that movement? in the car. Yeah, okay, but at least her <laughs> mailing list, <laughs> at least her mailing list going to Chuck Schumer saying, I ran for president, I was third. I mean, using some of that political capital. She's been, frankly, MIA from this whole discussion. And I mean, Sanders, even more so to a lesser or to a lesser extent, has been kind of he's been has his own plan, but he's not really pushing as hard as he could with Democratic leadership. Warren was always the case was that she was like this technocratic senator right. who knew how the game works. Well, where are you? Because you're not leading in the crisis. You're also not leading in terms of endorsing anybody and moving on. So it just seems classic mealy mouth. It's, it's part of, actually, I think part of why she's not able to have more influence in this moment is because she did equivocate mm -hmm. and stay neutral right. and not pick a side. Look, if you throw in with, with Bernie, then you've got credi more credibility with progressives to be a standard bearer in terms of offering ideas and solutions. And you're right. In certain ways, this crisis is sort of tailor-made for her. She, uh, in her corruption plan, anti-corruption plan on the trail, was talking about Senator and members of Congress shouldn't own stock. Yeah. Suddenly, that's a position that is, is getting a lot yeah. of attention, and I, she was completely right on, right? But I haven't even heard her really out there leading on that. So she doesn't have the credibility with the progressive base to be a leader there. She doesn't have the trust of the establishment to be a leader on that side because she hasn't fallen in line behind Joe. And so she's basically made herself irrelevant to yeah. the process at a time when, again, her skills could actually be useful right now. She does have some good ideas. She has been a leader in certain areas, and especially 
especially this confluence of like Wall Street and government and just the, the technocratic need to put these things together and to do it quickly, she could be a real force to be reckoned with. But I think she's sort of squandered some of her political capital and how she's played this whole thing. I think she squandered it completely as well. And yeah, maybe that's why she's completely MIA from much of the discussions and then going on The View to have, you know, a talk like this and not really saying anything. So a perfect end to the story of Elizabeth Warren. <sighs> but does it end, Sagar? I no, don't I don't I don't think that it does. Okay. <laughs> All right, we'll have more rising for you after this.